Hi, this is Preeti from Analytics India Magazine. Welcome back to another episode from our segment, Data Science as a Career. The importance of having a good GitHub profile has been stressed many times. There are often questions on what potential employers are looking for and what does a good GitHub profile look like. In this episode, we will cover the important aspects of a good GitHub profile. So let's get started. Coming to the first tip, including a good author information. This includes details such as candidate's username, location, email address, current employer, etc. As this is the first thing that potential employer notices, it is a good idea to have other relevant links such as personal blogs, websites, projects, and other links that candidates can showcase. Moving on to the next tip, Contribution graph. This indicates the number of contributions that a developer has made on other projects on the site. It showcases your keenness to explore other areas and show activity levels in the coding community. The greener the graph is, the better is your contribution rate. Therefore, it is always advisable to keep exploring. Coming to the next step, commit messages. These are essential for communicating why was your code changed. This is for your co-workers or collaborators and also for your future self. Additionally, an important sign of a decent developer is to write good commit messages. Examples of how not to write commit messages, commit hashtag 23, the real real final commit, fixed it or did something. A good commit message, examples, added models and updated services, updated local packages to version 1.1.0. Coming to the next step, writing employer targeted codes. Writing a code related directly to the employer's business is a good way to catch their attention. It can showcase your coding abilities while demonstrating the interest you have in getting that job. The projects can be as simple as creating a visualization of its data sets. We would highly encourage choosing a project which is either specifically relevant to the field which you want to enter or generally impressive. If you want to enter the field of robotics or medical devices, you better buy a Raspberry Pi and program it. Create a 3D printer from scratch or develop a program that improves the efficiency of 3D printers. You can also find some cheap industry standard equipment and find a security flaw in it. Release a patch to the community or maybe simply improve upon its code base. If you want to enter the financial world, build a financially relevant application. Moving on to the next step, projects such as gaming or mobile apps. You may include projects around game development that usually requires graphics intensive artistic offering and showcase your understanding of key programming concepts quite well. The same goes for developing mobile apps if that is your area of interest for working. The best thing that you can do to show how much of an asset you can be is to create a website, mobile app or service that people actually use. If you show up to an interview and demonstrate an app that has a thousand users, that is a major ace up your sleeve. Another mistake that most programmers do while choosing a project is to clone some popular website or service, especially if that is literal copying of every single bit of style and functionality. Example, copies of Instagram or Facebook. Hence, put in a lot of thought while choosing projects. Coming to the next tip, Forking and creating repositories. Repositories contains open source development projects that the developer is hosting on GitHub and forking is the number of times projects can have been copied. More the number of people who have forked, the greater is the popularity of the developer's project in the GitHub community. A large number of activity indicates that the developer is working on a popular project. Moving on to the next tip, large followers. The number of followers that your portfolio has is a good indication of the work that you have done in the past. It showcases how fellow GitHub users engage with your work. Having large followers comes with a significant amount of work a candidate might have done on GitHub. More than 50 is usually a decent number. Coming to the final tip, improving on stars. These are user ratings and may not be considered the only indicator for a good GitHub profile. Each project on GitHub user can earn stars from fellow users. It is a way of identifying how you have engaged in the community. 100 stars are usually considered decent, but the larger the better. Having mentioned the pointers above, the key idea is to create stronger projects for a strong GitHub profile. 
Recruiters pay attention in the areas such as the variety of the projects that you may have bought, completeness of the project, its functionality, readability, and most importantly, the information that it stores and displays. With that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career. See you soon. Bye.